For those of you who don't know, who are new to my channel, I work two jobs. I work 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at my factory, and then I work here at this desk, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, that sounds really inconvenient to a lot of people. It's like, oh, how could you work two jobs, you know? And I get it. I really do get it. It's stressful to be working two jobs, but you want to know what's more stressful? Having to worry about your finances. I would rather be working two jobs and living comfortably in the house that I do rather than only working one job, coping with myself, twiddling my thumbs, hoping things will get better when they won't. These videos are another thing that I'm doing to try and help people out with realizing that times are changing and you need to change with the times because the times won't change with you. I don't know if that actually made any sense, but <laughs> we're gonna build it while we fly, baby. So what's the point of this video? This video is made in the hopes that anybody that's out there that's either working a job right now, or if you're not working and you're currently looking for a job, I am gonna recommend that you find a job that allows you to work with a laptop. And why is that? Well, for one, when it comes to like, say for my position here at the hotel that I work at, I work three to 11 on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, Friday and Saturday are usually pretty busy, and I only ever have time to do research on video topics and write down notes in my little notebook. However, I'm starting to realize that on Sundays, I have so much spare time. Why don't I just create a couple of videos here? And I feel like that's something that you can do, too. And I'll give you a really good reason here. Like, here's a very specific situation. If you are renting an apartment or if you have bills that need to be paid and you have over $500 in bills that you need to pay every single month, what I'm gonna recommend to you is that you work a hotel or receptionist job that allows you to have a laptop. This is gonna be super important. It's gonna be even more important that you find a job that allows you to work from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you're gonna try and find a receptionist job that allows you to use your laptop and your phone and allow you to be doing what you do from Sunday to Thursday. Why is this? Because Friday and Saturday are very, very busy days in these fields. And more often than not, you are not going to actually have time to dedicate to researching or taking down notes or doing whatever it is that you need to do. However, Sunday through Thursday are very slow days. You'll have more than plenty enough time to be able to just be by yourself, vibe by yourself, be able to do what you need to do while still working and doing all the things that you need to do while you're at work while also creating a business online. It's two birds with one stone. I really don't see why you shouldn't be doing that. Even more so if you decide that you don't want to be in the digital space and you're not gonna be creating videos or content like I am, you can still use a laptop to create a drop shipping business or a sauce selling business or whatever kind of business that you wanna start up. Another bonus about working a regular receptionist job is that it builds up your conflict resolution skills, particularly if you're working in the hotel industry or any customer service industry. And like, I know it sucks dealing with negative customers or guests that have an issue with something that doesn't need to be an issue or they're creating an issue out of thin air. It does suck but these experiences truly help build character. And like, if you wanna run a future business, you're gonna have be dealing with people that are gonna be trying to scam you out of money or doing et cetera, et cetera, right? So it just makes sense that if you want to work in a customer service job, you want to purposely put yourselves in uncomfortable positions. <laughs> that sounds sad. <laughs> okay, you want to purposely put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, there we go to where you are outside of your comfort zone and you're learning these conflict resolution skills. So that way you can learn to tell people no, or here's a compromise, you can deal with people. And that's one of the beautiful skills about working in a customer service situation. Finally, one of the most important facts is that you still get paid. It still pays bills. Even if your business isn't successful, if you are just starting out or something, no matter what, you have your bills covered. It's especially good if you're gonna be staying with your parents or if you don't have that many bills, you can still work, still be productive, bring home money and have at least $10,000 in your savings account within a year. You know, there's absolutely no downside to working a nine to five and in, in, in spaces like this. There's no shame and no downside. Where most people go wrong is when they build up too much debt 
or they work a job where they can't take time off, working a job that's stressful for too little pay. Now, you can remedy a lot of this by just simply job hopping and searching for something new. But in my opinion, if you really got an entrepreneur mindset and you have the drive to actually have a business going with online income and stuff like that, then absolutely work a customer service job to pay your bills and then do your business while you're working in a place that allows you to have a laptop, allows you to have a phone, allows you to be on your own time, and doesn't require too much of you other than just interacting and checking in guests or checking out guests or just doing what you need to do. If you found this video helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my channel so I can continue to help you and others like you with real life advice that's actually beneficial to the majority of the people in the world. Hope you take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.